let's build our first agent, our first gummy. Now I want to create an agent that can help our support team navigate when they should give a discount to a user. Our team should be able to drop in a Zendesk ticket number in Slack, and that'll kick off the approval process fully managed by an agent. So let's go to Gumloop and create a new agent and call it Support Bot Assistant. Now, quick overview of the layout here. We've got tools my agent has access to. Those are the applications it can use or the Gumloop flows it can run. Then the instructions, which is how it should behave and when it should use different tools. And finally, a space to test our gummy as if we're talking to it in Slack. So let's start building our agent, our gummy. Now the starting point is Zendesk. So I'll add that as a tool. Let's test it out by saying return details for a specific ticket. And we see it retrieves all of its details. Now, the way I want this flow to work is that this gummy should validate the ticket we're talking about to make sure we're on the same page that we're assessing the right ticket. So to make sure that's the case, I'll add the information to the system prompt, to the instructions of this gummy. Something like you'll receive Zendesk ticket information, begin by returning the ticket details and confirming with the user that it's the correct ticket. Also, always respond in Yodanese. Yodanese because it's funny. Now, let's try retrieving that ticket again. And now we see that there's a pause before continuing. Now, the next step in our flow and the challenge the team is facing is that eligibility for discount depends on a bunch of factors that's scattered across a bunch of different systems. So let's add into this gummy's tools a flow that goes to BigQuery, Salesforce, and retrieves a profile of the user. And then we can update the instructions when it should use it. So once confirmed, run the get user details flow and return the user profile. Now I can ask it for the profile of the user that wrote the ticket. Now the final element of our agent is reading our policy on discounts, which lives in Notion and assessing whether the user is eligible. Now, one more time, we're gonna go ahead and add in that connection to Notion. But as I'm adding it, we notice that we're giving it access to all Notion pages. That's probably gonna overwhelm our poor little gummy. So just like before, we're gonna go ahead and update the instructions with more details. After that, read the discount eligibility criteria found in this Notion page. And here we can specify with the URL. Use the retrieved profile to evaluate whether the customer qualifies. And let's test it. Is this ticket eligible for a discount? And we see the assessment and it's correctly assessed that yes, I am eligible for a discount. And just like that, we've built an agent. You give it a Zendesk ticket number. It's gonna go ahead and confirm with you whether it's the correct ticket. Then it's gonna kick off a user profile research through a flow, read the Notion doc with all the discount information and assess whether the ticket is correct. At any moment, you can interrupt, you can ask it other questions about the policy and now you can use it however you'd like. So what do you need to remember? Developing good agents is part art, part science. There's a balance between improving the instructions, giving it too much information or too little, and adding in the right tools to get it working perfectly for your workflow. What I encourage you to do is to view your agents as a constant work in progress that you improve over time as more and more of your colleagues or yourself use that agent. And speaking, of having people use your agent. In the next lesson, we're gonna bring this gummy into Slack.